Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Just hit 21.8K subs. Working our way to 21.9, so keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below. Really good promo, especially with FanDuel. New customers, bet five. Get 200 in bonus bets if you win, so take advantage of that. And if you're new in Pennsylvania, Bet365 just launched there. They have great promos as well uh, for the official launch. So take advantage of that, guys. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Busy slate today as we close out the weekend. 15 matchups, starting with the Cincinnati Reds versus the Tampa Bay Rays. It is an early game. It's 1135 Eastern game. Reds opening up as road favorites at minus 130. The Rays plus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Reds coming into this matchup 50 and 54. The Rays 53 and 52. Pitching for the Rays is Hunter Green with an ERA of 3.14. Pitching for the Rays is Sean Armstrong with an ERA of 5.64. Green, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts, only given up one run and three start and three starts. Armstrong though. Coming off three straight zero run games. He's only pitching two innings though. You got Green pitching six, seven innings here. Armstrong's good, but it's going to be a bullpen game, I would imagine. Uh, the Reds getting shut out yesterday by Tampa Bay. Not a great game from the Reds there, but um, yeah, I do like Green on the mound. Last His last start on the mound, they won four to one here. And um, I'm liking the Reds here. I really like Hunter Green. Uh, been very good here and uh, I think I, I like the Reds on the bounce back good pitching today give me the Reds on the road next matchup we've got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Philadelphia Phillies Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 140 the Guardians plus 115 with the over under at nine and a half Guardians coming into this matchup 62 and 42 the Phillies 65 and 39 Pitching for the Guardians is Joey Cantillo with an ERA of zero. Pitching for the Phillies is Colby Allard with an ERA of zero. Um, yeah, pretty much both these pitchers, as long as it holds true, are making their first starts of the season here. So there's really no stats on them today. So today will be very interesting. Uh, you got Phillies coming off 8-0 winning in Cleveland yesterday. Crazy bounce back win for the Phillies. Able to shut them out like that. Uh, Cleveland is just two and eight on the road against the Phillies here. Um, yeah, this is just a big question mark kind of game. Two pitchers we don't know much about. Alar did pitch last year. His last two starts last year, he gave up a total of seven runs and two starts. So, you know, didn't finish last year strong when he did play. But um, yeah, this one's, I don't know, this one's tough here. You got Guardians getting shut out yesterday. Can we really trust them to bounce back? Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what Kintilla looks like on the mound, but uh, I think I'll play it safe and just take a shot with the Phillies at home today since the Guardians have been bad on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 160. The Padres plus 130 with the over-under at 9.5. Padres coming into this matchup 57-50. and 50. Baltimore 61-43. and 43. Pitching for the Padres is Randy Vasquez with an ERA of 4.17. Pitching for Baltimore is Albert Suarez with an ERA of 3.48. Vasquez, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had one strikeout. Suarez, his last start, he pitched two innings. Gave up six runs, had three strikeouts. Padres, man, they've been great this series. Back-to-back -back wins against Baltimore. Winning 9-4 to four yesterday. They're on a very nice streak right now. Um, yeah, they're on a 7-game winning streak right now. And you got Baltimore 1-5 and five in their last 6. Yeah, Padres playing great. They're 8-1 and one on the road against Baltimore. 4-1 and one straight up against Baltimore. 5-0 and oh on the road. Crazy they've been that good on the road. And you got Baltimore 1-8 at home. Just been very poor at home here. Um... Juarez coming off two bad starts on the mound. Then you got Vasquez coming off some good starts, coming off a zero-run game. I really think the Padres should be favorites in this series. The way they've played, I mean, man, they're on a heater right now. 
Give me the Padres plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Texas Rangers versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Looking like a pick em scenario. Both teams minus 110 with the over under at eight and a half. Rangers coming into this matchup 51 and 54. Toronto 48 and 56. Pitching for the Rangers is John Gray with an ERA at 3.64. Pitching for Toronto is Jose Barrios with an ERA at 4.08. Gray, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Barrios, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Barrios just hasn't been good on the mound for them here. Uh, he's given up 12 runs and three starts, three, five, and four in his last three. Uh, don't love Barrios on the mound. Big win for Toronto yesterday. They've actually, you know, won the last two in the series, but. Um, yeah, the last two times Barrios has been on the mound, they've lost. Uh, so, don't love Barrios today. And uh, I think it's a good spot for the Rangers, especially in a, pretty much a pick em scenario. Bounce back. There's some rough games here. Even the Rangers on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. Both teams in a pick em scenario at minus 110 with the over under at 8. Braves coming into this matchup 55 and 48. The Mets 55 and 49. Pitching for the Braves is Reynaldo Lopez with an ERA of 2.12. Pitching for the Mets is David Peterson with an ERA of 3.14. Lopez, his last start, he pitched four innings. He pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Peterson, he's coming off a two-run game. Been very pretty solid for the Mets, I'd say. Giving up four runs and three starts. Um, Braves shutting out the Mets yesterday 4-0, ending their bad losing streak they were on, um, and then ending Mets' nice winning streak that they were on there. Mets 15-4 and at home. I mean, such a good home team. In a pick-em scenario, I mean, we haven't seen, first of all, we haven't seen the Braves win in a while, and um, yeah, I'm liking the Mets. I like Peterson on the mound today. Lopez coming off two rougher starts on the mound here. And in a pick'em scenario, I'll take the bounce back team coming off of sh getting shut out. Give me the Mets at home today. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Detroit Tigers. Twins opening up as road favorites at minus 180. Detroit plus 140 with the over under at 8. Twins coming into this matchup 57 and 46. The Tigers 52 and 54. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 4.04. .04. Pitching for the Tigers is Alex Fiedo with an ERA of 3.47. Ober, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up two runs at four strikeouts. Fiedo, his last start, he pitched two innings. Gave up zero runs at two strikeouts. Uh, Detroit, nice underdog win on the road yesterday, or at home yesterday, uh, winning 7-2. Uh, yeah, nice win for Detroit. Um, I really don't love Minnesota being this big of favorites here, uh, because we saw what Detroit did to them last game. I right, was only pitched once this season, but I mean, he pitched two innings and, you know, didn't give up any runs, looked solid over, you know, he gives up some runs. He's not, not that great, but I don't know to pay minus 180 for the twins. I'm not really in love with that. I think it's good value for Detroit today. Coming off a nice one yesterday at home. I'll take a shot with the Tigers plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Kansas City Royals. Royals opening up as home favorites at minus one, uh, minus 180. The Cubs plus 140 with the over under at nine. Cubs coming into this matchup 50 and 56. The Royals 57 and 48. Pitching for the Cubs is Javier Assad with an ERA of 3.15. Pitching for the Royals is Cole Reagans with an ERA at 3.30. Assad, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts. Reagans, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Assad coming off a good start, but his two games prior, he gave up three and four runs. So he's had his games where he's been pretty bad. Uh, Cubs coming off a big one yesterday against the Royals, 9-4, to four, ending their three-game losing streak. They were on... Uh, you know, nice comeback win for the Cubs yesterday. I don't know. I'm still just not sold on the Cubs. 
when I look at this matchup here, we've seen Assad get lit up. Um, you know, disappointing game from the Royals yesterday, but I think it's a good bounce back spot for them. And um, I'm going to take another shot with the Royals at home today. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Houston Astros. Houston opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Dodgers plus 115 with the over under at 9. Dodgers coming into this matchup 62 and 44. Houston 55 and 49. Pitching for the Dodgers is River Ryan with an ERA of 0. Pitching for the Astros is Spencer Aragetti with an ERA of 5.65. Ryan uh, has pitched once this season. He pitched five innings. Gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts, looked very good in his first uh, start of the season. Uh, Aragetti, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had three strikeouts. He hasn't been that good on the on the mound, really. Um, Dodgers losing to Houston yesterday, seven to six on a little two game losing streak. Hasn't played that well. Um, crazy because they were up five to zero yesterday and uh, they ended up blowing that game, which is crazy. Uh, they are four and nine on the road against Houston. Haven't been that good against Houston. One and eight on the road. Not don't, don't, man. Dodgers just haven't been a good road team here. Um, and it's hard for me to trust them here. The blue blew a bad lead yesterday here. I think I gotta take the Astros at home today and hope Arigetti has a decent decent game on the mound. Next matchup, we've got the Miami Marlins versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 215. The Marlins plus 175 with the over-under at 8.5. Marlins coming into this matchup 39 and 66. The Brewers 59 and 45. Pitching for the Marlins is Kyle Tyler with an ERA at 3.92. Pitching for the Brewers is Tobias Myers with an ERA at 3.14. Tyler, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up three runs at five strikeouts. Myers, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs at six strikeouts. Uh, the big news for Miami, um, they got rid of, they traded uh, Jazz Chisholm to the Yankees here. I'm pretty sure that's official. So that's a huge loss for the Marlins. Um, Miami on a two-game winning streak. Back-to-back -back dominating wins against the Brewers as underdogs winning seven to three and then six to two yeah disappointing home games from from the brewers here crazy miami they're six and one against milwaukee here um myers coming off two good starts on the mound um man this just smells like a it's a classic sunday bounce back brewers been getting dominated the last two I think Vegas is going to want you to be on that Marlins plus money today. I think the Brewers get it done today. Give me the Brewers at home with a big bounce back today. Next matchup, we got the Seattle Mariners versus the Chicago White Sox. Uh, both teams in a pick'em scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at 7. Seattle coming into this matchup, 55 and 51. The White Sox, 27 and 80. Pitching for the Mariners is Bryce Miller with an ERA of 3.41. Pitching for the White Sox is Garrett Crochet with an ERA of 3.07. Miller, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. Coming off back-to-back -back zero-run games here. Crochet, he's coming off a two-run game. Been their best pitcher by far this season. Um... Then Seattle, back-to-back -back wins against the White Sox, winning 6-3. to three. Uh, Had a Rosarena get his start yesterday after getting acquired. And man, it looked very good yesterday. I think he's going to fit right in with Seattle. So he played very good. And whenever they get Crawford and Julio Rodriguez back, man, now now they got some firepower on this offense here. This will be a, this is, you know, we'll see how well they can do heading into the postseason. Uh, that's a nice, that was a nice trade that they made. Then the White Sox, 13-game losing streak. It's just horrible for the White Sox here. I mean, they just really blow games. Uh, kept it close yesterday. I mean, they had it tied for a little bit, and then uh, they blew it. And uh, crazy, it's just a pick -em scenario. Seattle, 5-1 and one against the White Sox. 5-1 and one on the road against the White Sox. It's because Crochet's, you know, he's been good on the mound here. But, man, Miller, two straight zero-run games here against the Dodgers and pa or Angels and Padres here. 
look, White Sox on a 13 game losing streak. You're getting Seattle at a at a minus 110. I mean, even if it's a trap game and White Sox get their first win, I'm taking Seattle. Biggest value of the day. Really should be huge favorites. The way they've played this, you know, these last two games here. Randy looks good in the lineup. I think you're getting Seattle out of value today. Give me the Mariners on the road. Next matchup, we got the Washington Nationals versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 150. The Nationals plus 125 with the over-under at 8.5. Nationals coming into this matchup 49 and 56. The Cardinals 53 and 51. Pitching for the Nationals is DJ Hers with an ERA of 4.95. Pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas with an ERA of 5.02. Hers, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Mikolas, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Washington on a two-game winning streak, back-to-back -back big wins against Seattle or St. Louis, 14 to three and 10 to eight. So they're on double-digit, just double-digit. I mean, you know, runs these last two games here. Looked, they've hit very well this series here. The uh, Cardinals, they've dropped their last three. Um, the overs hit five of the last five games on the road between the two. Overs definitely smashed the last two games. Um, yeah, and like you're still getting the National had an insane value on the road. Nice dogs. They've looked very sharp this series. And man, they're they're hot right now hitting. So, uh, I'll take Nationals plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Colorado Rockies versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 215. The Rockies plus 170 with the over-under at seven, seven and a half. Rockies coming into this matchup 38 and 68. The Giants 52 and 55. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 4.70. Pitching for the Giants is Jordan Hicks with an ERA of 4.01. Gomber, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs. Had five strikeouts. Coming off back-to-back four-run games here. Hicks uh, has had some rough starts. He's coming off a four-and-five run game here. Um, yeah, Giants won the doubleheader yesterday. They won 5-0 to zero and then 4-1 in the first one. So uh, two very good games yesterday from the Giants. And then the losing continues for the Rockies. 0-10 on the road against the Giants. They just can't win on the road against the Giants for some reason. Um, it's very bad. That's a crazy long streak. Um, both pitchers giving up runs, so I don't love it. But, I mean, I got to take the Giants. I mean, the Rockies just can't win on the road here. And uh, I'll take Giants at home. Next matchup, we got the Oakland Athletics versus the Los Angeles Angels. Angels opening up as home favorites at minus 145. Oakland plus 120 with the over-under at 9. Oakland coming into this matchup 44 and 63. The Angels 45 and 60. Pitching for Oakland is Osvaldo Bido with an ERA at 3.09. Pitching for the Angels is Jose Soriano with an ERA at 3.51. Bido, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run. Had six strikeouts. Soriano, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run. Had five strikeouts. Uh, Oakland on a three-game winning streak. Coming off three straight Angel wins here. Um, yeah. They've looked very, you know, they've kind of dominated this series here. They're eight and one against the Angels here. So they've just been very good head-to-head. -head. Um yeah, still, still underdogs. I feel like they should be favorite here. So you've been getting them out of value all series. I mean, they look good. Haven't seen enough from the Angels this series. So I'll still take a shot with the A's plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Pirates plus 100 with the over-under at eight and a half. Pirates coming into this matchup 52 and 52. Arizona 55 and 50. Pitching for the Pirates is Mitch Keller with an ERA of 3.34. Pitching for Arizona is Yilber Diaz with an ERA of 5.40. Keller, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run, had three strikeouts. 
Diaz. Uh, he's coming off a seven-run game, but as two games prior, he gave up one run each. So just coming off a rough start, it's all. Arizona back-to-back -back wins against Pittsburgh, beating them nine to five yesterday. They're on a four-game winning streak right now. The struggles for continue for the Pirates. They're two and eleven on the road against Arizona. They just can't win on the road against Arizona here, um, or whatever that is. And uh, yeah, bad stretch on the road for them. I think I got to take Arizona at home today. In the last matchup, we've got the New York Yankees versus the Boston Red Sox. Yankees opening up as slight road favorites at minus 115. Boston minus 105 with the over under at nine. The Yankees coming into this matchup 61 and 45. Boston 55 and 48. Pitching for the Yankees is Carlos Rodon with an ERA of 4.26. Pitching for Boston is Tanner Houck with an ERA of 2.71. Rodon, his last start, he pitched seven innings and gave up one run at 10 strikeouts. Alk, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs at two strikeouts. Yankees beating Boston yesterday 11 to 8 uh, in extra innings. So, you know, it was a very high scoring game there. Very flip flop here. We saw them, Boston win 9 to 7 and then lose 11 to 8 yesterday. It's a high scoring series so far. Uh, maybe the over could be some could be could be a play here. Um, Rodon, you know he's had his rough games here. I don't really love Rodon on the mound. He's coming off two decent games here, but we've seen his games where he's been pretty bad. Um, and then Hauk, his last start against the Yankees, he only gave up one run here. I like the Red Sox. Tough loss yesterday in extra innings here. I think they bounce back today to close out the evening. Meet Boston plus one and a half at home today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.